Good morning guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. We are going to take a quick look over the markets and have a look what's going on in terms of Bitcoin and, and we'll just have a look at some of the, the other big assets like Ethereum too. So one thing to point out before we go into any type of bullish speak, because I mean I usually always maintain a bullish thesis and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm majority a bull. You just have to be wary that we have one massive bear flag here. May not play out these patterns are just there for illustration purposes half the time out of and I mean sometimes they break out, sometimes they don't, but this is a, just a potential thing to keep your eyes on. I mean it is a bear flag and for me, I don't think it's gonna drop to the downside because if it did drop down there, you're gonna be looking at scooping the bottom of these candles up here around 29k and potentially all the way down to this region of um, support down here, that 22, 23. I don't think it'll happen. Um, I think this cycle, uh, cycles in general are really starting to, to differ compared to what they have done historically. So just keep your eyes on that bull flag, um, sorry, bear flag. So looking at current PA, we had a bounce from the lows at 39,200. Currently into a level of resistance, as you can see in the past, was a major level of support. I mean, you probably could always go through. Look at that, that level of resistance there. Uh, level of resistance there. So it's a clear area of this. So what we'll do, we'll drag that. Um, we'll just drag it all the way through. So you can see it is a clear area um, of support and resistance. Is that what we're calling it currently in now? We need to flip this back and then look at this level here. I marked this up in my past. It's also another, I think that's a weekly level of resistance at 42,800. I put a tweet out the other day, probably early on this week, saying, look, um, I reckon by Sunday, we should hopefully try and flip this level here at 42,750. And that, if we just put a weekly candle, that will turn the, the weekly candle green, which, I mean, it's not far off the same. I think we need to get above... Yeah, around 42,300 we need to get it back above to, to flip that candle green. And then looking at this, that's a level of resistance which I, I would like to get back above. Look at these two candles here, it would be great to get back above there. But yeah, if we do finish green in this, that will be a, a hammer candle which is pretty, which will form. And I think we'll really start to push on. I think it's been a very indecisive period over the course of the last... I mean, the last few months, we've all expected it just to continue up. Um, we got that top at 69k. And it has retraced, and it's been pretty much brutal, to be honest. Even this rise, it's just felt unsustained. And every time we have started to get a pump, as you can see by all these weekly candles, they've dumped straight back into it. And, I mean, the previous, um, well, the, the last three weeks of March was pretty good, wasn't it? And then, bang, starting in April, which is notoriously supposed to be a bullish month. Um, so far, it has turned out to be bearish, but... I'm, I reckon this month we will finish in positive territory. I really think that what we're doing now is just retesting this level of resistance here that we did break through. I think, I know even though we've dropped below it, I think we'll finish above it this week. And then I think going on towards next week, I think we'll really start to rally and push up towards that 45k region. And I think we will, like I say, um, well, fingers crossed, finish this week um with a green candle finish this month with a um, a positive reaction and a positive um stance on bitcoin so thoughts on bitcoin um, let's just have a look at this down on a daily time frame and have a look at this in terms of fibonacci because this was a move that everybody was monitoring in terms of fibonacci from the start of the move there to the top of the move we retraced we did a 78 percent retrace and then pushed up and we are now into that level of resistance I think if we need to get any type of bullish price action, we need to flip that golden ratio there. So first target is to break above 41637. I think what will potentially happen is if we break this, may come up, retest this um, level of resistance here, but then we'll come back down. So this could be an area to long um, at 41637 if the market um, did give us that opportunity. And then we've got several levels above. We've got this, this one I mentioned here at 45,700. Um, you can see here clear area of support then uh, we did get a bit of a deviation above it uh, but i think that's the area we really need to to monitor to, to take some profits whether that's on a spot position or a long position that's totally up to you um but in likewise terms if we did fail and reject off this you're probably gonna be able to short it back down to 39850 and the the elephant in the room other than that bear flag is this trend here if you look at this trend on a weekly time frame which we've tapped i've noted it down five times so one two three four five we've tapped that exactly so there's always that potential that you could come down and re-tap that again at 35k 
I don't think it will, to be honest. I think we, we are going to push on from around this area, and I think we'll f see 45k soon. There's just that potential that it could drop down there, so just be wary of that. But all in all, um, I'm remaining bullish, um, and that's my thoughts on Bitcoin. I think I think this candle is going to end up green this week, and, and hopefully April does end green. Looking at Ethereum, and then we'll look at EVPTC, which has remained strong. We've come down and tapped this level here. Pretty much that's that's a free, uh, 3k level. There or thereabouts, what we're now. 3,100 currently. Um, it has been a clear level in the past. If we look at this on the daily time frame, uh, we get a better perspective of how many times we've tapped it within around this range. Major support, support wick there, um, resistance. So that is the area around 2,950 up to 3k. Psychological area too. And as well, if you just zoom out on this, one, two, three taps. I think that's on a weekly time frame as well of that trend. So always a possibility of running back down to 2,500. Like I say, I don't think it'll happen. Um, but you just got to keep that in mind that we could come down and retest that. To be honest, Ethereum has remained fairly strong. You've seen a lot of the majors drop in quite significant amounts. If you look at this in terms of price range from the very highs to the lows, we did a 55% drop. Sounds quite nasty, that, but... Uh, majority of the major caps uh, did between 60 and 90 percent drop so um, it has remained strong and as you can see by ethereum btc um, it, it's been powering on to be honest it's looking quite good with managing to to get up to this level and you could see here that we have got this bit of a trend line forming there so that's the area you need to monitor as well um always potentially if, if bitcoin goes on a, a ride rally which i i really think we are yet to see a major bitcoin rally Whenever Bitcoin's rallied over the course of the last 18 months, everything else has followed it up. We've not had a breakout on Bitcoin where it's gone alone. If that did happen, if BTC would drop and you'd probably get some buys down at around 0 0.066. But like I say, most of the time over the course of the last, what would you say, the last 18 months has been just Bitcoin dragging everything up. And if you look at the, the dominance of Bitcoin, it's been a strange one because what you would expect in previous times is that Bitcoin would rally like it has done in the past here um, and you would expect it to happen again and, and really start to reclaim some dominance but it's just been going sideways hasn't it ever since um, April last year so you're talking a year of sideways action and within that period Bitcoin has gone on to create new all time highs so it just shows you that there's a lot more strength in the market now other than Bitcoin there's some big assets going around we've got Ethereum, Solana, AVAX, uh, Polkadot these major, major assets are now starting to take some of that dominance really off Bitcoin because technologically, there are some more far superior assets in terms of tech. Bitcoin is obviously the king. It is that store of value that I think will be around forever. And I reckon it will hold that number one spot. But in terms of tech, it's probably just um, some of these other major assets that are starting to come out now over the last few years are really starting to push on. And that's why I think potentially you are not seeing the dominant um, flip like it used to do. And that's why we're probably not having these alt seasons. When things are starting to move up, everything's moving up at the same time. What we do need is some other periods like, um, you remember when Solana pushed up by itself? That was um, quite a big thing. We saw um, Matic, Polygon, that pushed up by itself. So we are getting these breakaway alts which are starting to produce. And one asset that I'm still waiting for to do that is Polkadot. I think this is one of the most undervalued assets on the market. And I mean, I, I mentioned to my lads in um, Discord, look, anything below $20 is going to be investment of a century. Obviously, we can still drop an, uh, another trend line here. Uh, there's always that potential you could drop down to $15 again, but I wouldn't worry about not <laughs> trying to get a few dollars cheaper because if you if you have interest about holding long term, then get yourself into Polkadot because this is one that's going to really grow. Ecosystem is just starting to grow now. We've got a few power chain slots in place, plenty more coming. And also, if you're looking for a low cap while we're talking about power chains, check out Turnoa. They are in their main net as we speak. They will be applying for a power chain auction. So that's something to keep your eyes on. But that's it. Just some quick thoughts on the market today. Um, a bit of a different video, just covering a few different assets. Uh, but if you want more videos like this, um, comment below. Make sure you do that, like that video. And um, I'll catch you next time.